Hi, my name is Jen Marchetti, Senior Vice President of Marketing for Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, and welcome to 3-Minute Marketing, a video series that offers insights into the most important topics in real estate marketing, distilled down to exactly what you need to know. What is social marketing? For real estate professionals, it's about building relationships, being relevant, and ultimately increasing business flowing through your pipeline. Real estate professionals are taking full advantage of social marketing because today, people are seeking information, not advertising. They want to be educated and have meaningful conversations. They do not want to be sold to. Social media gives you a chance to provide relevant, meaningful information and directly interact with your sphere of influence on a regular basis. Another benefit is it also enables you to build credibility with your sphere's own social circles. Why is that? It's because people still rely on family and friends for recommendations, particularly in the real estate category. Every fan and follower you have on social is an opportunity to reach new potential clients. And referrals are often more valuable prospects than those who walk in the door or contact you because they saw your ad in the newspaper. How do you become a go-to source of information through social marketing and social media? Well, the first step is to make sure that you always post relevant and interesting information, not just your listings. You also want to post meaningful information about what's going on in your community. Become an expert on current events, particularly those that relate to real estate. Make sure you offer wonderful and useful real estate tips, including staging advice, negotiation advice, and tips on what to look for in an agent. It's easy to share brand content for Better Homes and Gardens real estate through any of the brand's social media platforms. We are here to take the effort of content generation off of your shoulders. Don't be afraid to have some fun with your social marketing and remember to add some personality to your posts. People want to know about you as a person, not just you as a real estate professional. The next step is to plan your social media initiative. First, figure out what your goals are. Are you in it for awareness, engagement with your sphere, lead generation, or to promote a specific project such as an open house? You need to make sure that you clearly define your metrics how will you measure success? Identifying your audience also plays into selecting what social media channel or channels you will use. For example, Facebook and Instagram are both used a lot by consumers. LinkedIn has a more professional slant. The next step in your social marketing plan is to determine your social media tactics. Make sure you put together a comprehensive content calendar Know what you're going to post, how often, and which days of the week or times of day. Frame up and plan your posting schedule. You have a very busy day and you want to make sure you make time for social media. Remember, be engaging with your social sphere. Comment on important posts that people talk about because this will help keep the conversation going and build your relationship and your personal brand. Be consistent. Make sure your fans can count on you being a presence within social media. And don't forget to include calls to action in your posts. Before you commit to a social marketing plan, remember, it takes time to plan, schedule, and maintain a consistent social media presence. You need to make sure you allocate enough time in a day or a week to build and maintain your personal social brand. To get in on the conversation, visit the facebook.com all things re brand page thank you for watching 3 minute marketing better homes and gardens real estate is proud to offer insights and tips into today's most relevant real estate marketing topics have a productive day